जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम इट इज डॉक्टर जुहैब अहमद एंड टुडे वी विल स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर एंड ज्योमेट्री ऑफ सिंगल लेयर एंड टू लेयर स्टिच वोवन फैब्रिक्स इन वोवन स्ट्रक्चर्स वी नो दैट द वोवन ज्योमेट्री वोवन फैब्रिक ज्योमेट्री एंड स्ट्रक्चर हैव सिग्निफिकेंट इफेक्ट ऑन देयर बिहेवियर एज अ गुड रिइंफोर्समेंट मटेरियल इंश्योर्स द बेटर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट सो इट इज नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंटरनल ज्योमेट्री ऑफ द वोवन स्ट्रक्चर uh in single layer uh, structures you can see the interlace interlacing of warp and weft yarn uh in single layer plain woven fabric it's uh, here it is its design and the repeat and uh, along the transverse cross section you can see the binding wave of weft yarn and along longitudinal cross section you can see the binding wave of warp yarn uh it is necessary to understand the transverse and uh, longitudinal cross section similarly we have the uh, shape of a two layer plain woven fabric and its uh, uh, wave representation and the binding wave of weft yarn along uh, transverse cross section and along uh, longitudinal cross section uh, why we need to study the fabric geometry because uh, we can predict the maximum set of fabric we can predict its mechanical properties and it can help us understand the fabric performance and we can uh, derive the relationship between geometrical parameters such as crimp and the weave angle we have different structural models like pierce circular cross sectional model the modified elliptical model camps ray strike section hulls lenticular uh, cross sectional model then we have the description of binding wave Uh, in the fabric by fourier mathematical model schematic uh, correspondence uh, and some other different uh, different models we will not go into the details be because of the shortage of the time so i will uh, skip it uh, we will see the evaluation of woven fabric geometry by fourier series which is one of its kind uh, for the evaluation of the geometry uh, what is fourier series it is necessary to understand uh, it's a combination of fourier sine and cosine series for a function which uh, f of x which is periodic on an interval minus pi to pi the fourier series of a function uh, is given by this formula and where the coefficients can be found by this formula mm, how uh, this works you can see the example here uh, we can see the first four partial sums of the fourier series for a square wave we have a square wave and when we will apply the fourier sums then when we will keep on adding the number of terms it will uh, get uh, closer to our square square wave so this is how we can apply the uh, fourier uh, series uh, to any function <coughs> for the valuation method uh, mathematical expression and description uh, of a binding wave in single layer uh, suppose we have a, a fabric single layer fabric uh, in which we have one repeat Uh, as because it's a sinusoidal uh, periodic uh, we have the periodic shape in a plain single layer woven fabric uh, so we can correlate this to the uh, fourier periodic function uh, here in this uh, single layer uh, single layer woven fabric uh, we can um, do the linear description of uh, this binding wave um, by which we can use two straight lines and we can Uh, use the equation of the lines uh, to calculate its slope as we have the heights and diameters and the uh, distance between two yarns we already know by using these parameters in the equations given below uh, we can uh, do the approximation of this woven fabric <coughs> similarly we can do the approximation for the two layer woven fabrics in which uh, this is the first layer and this is the second layer <coughs> we can do the approximation for the uh, stitching area and the non non stitching area in the similar similar manner uh, using the uh, linear uh, linear description of the lines uh, suppose we have a, a real binding wave uh, in which we have the coordinates of this real binding wave Uh, we can use these real coordinates in our fourier equation and by using these coordinates we can approximate this uh, real binding wave as well 
uh, how we can do the testing we have the uh, fabric um, we can impregnate into the resin uh, make the uh, cross sections of it by analyzing the microscope taking the images we can analyze these cross sections uh, by the cross sectional images we can uh, calculate the real different parameters of the binding wave and its cross sections uh, first uh, we have a theoretical approximation uh, this is the modeling uh, we have a theoretical approximation using the linear function uh, in which we have one repeat we can calculate the slope we have the heights and the diameters and the space between two yarns by using these all things into the Fourier equation we can get the approximation of the binding wave for one repeat and we can get the harmonic components this is the first harmonic component which is which is the height of this binding wave then the difference between the first and second second and third uh, and we can calculate many components as we want to then in the next stage we have the uh, experimental analysis in which we have a binding wave uh, by using the coordinates of this binding wave uh, using into the Fourier equation we can approximate this experimental data and you can see the uh, approximation of this experimental data then we can combine these two sorry I will jump okay then we can combine these two uh, these two in this uh, diagram the experimental uh, binding wave and the theoretical uh, binding wave and we can see the difference between these two by these harmonic components so by this we can uh, do the approximation of the binding wave and we can analyze the difference so it, it is possible to do, do the approximation for the two layer uh, stretched woven fabric uh, uh, by the same method and the relevant articles are given here uh, because of the shortage of the time I made it quick so thank you for your attention stay safe and healthy if you have any question you can email me at uh, this email ID thank you very much